We're balancing the history of our nation today by focusing on our country's art and culture. Ever participated in an after-school club or activity? It could change your life. Jacob Lawrence attended free art classes after school when he was in high school, which eventually led him to becoming the most influential African-American artist in the 20th century. Jacob was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1917. When he was 13, he moved with his mom and his siblings to Harlem, which is a section of New York City. He dropped out of high school whenever he was 16 to get a job and help his mom with the bills. This was, a, this was during the period of her history called the Great Depression. He was able to keep painting because he started getting paid to paint through a program called the Easel Project, which paid artists to paint during the Great Depression. He wanted his paintings to tell a story, so he did that by painting Harriet Tubman and Frederick Douglass. He also painted a series called The Great Migration, which showed what it was like to have to move to the cities in the north and the west from cities and towns in the south in search of better jobs and living conditions. During World War II, Lawrence was drafted into the Coast Guard. He served on the first Coast Guard ship that was disintegrated. He became a troopship artist and painted over 50 paintings. After the war, he traveled and created paintings of what he saw. This means he also painted to show the struggles of disintegration. As he got older, he began teaching and becoming a professor at the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. Jacob Lawrence also was the painter of many children's books about famous people in history. With the theme of perseverance and resistance, he died in Seattle, Washington in 2000.